All right, so again, welcome to Quick Academy's sequel, Murder Mystery. My name is Laura and I'm the Quick Academy Soul Chapter Leader. Just to give you a bit of an overview of what we'll be doing today. So uh, in the first sort of couple of minutes, we're just going to get set up. So I'll be introducing myself. I have a little Menti icebreaker prepared. Perhaps some of you have used Menti before. Then we'll be going over the SQL commands that you need in order to finish this mystery. And following that, we'll be doing the SQL sleuthing, the actual detective work. It's not going to take too long. There's about seven commands, seven or eight commands in total to solve the mystery. Um, there is also a little challenge. So it really depends how we get on with the time. If we have um, a lot of time left over, we might do the challenge as well. If we're a little bit tight on time, then maybe I'll leave the challenge up to you. And following that, we'll be wrapping up. And just a little bit of housekeeping, I would appreciate some feedback following the event. It is definitely anonymous. I've checked it myself. So if you were to leave some feedback, I will not know who sent that. Uh, it can be constructive, it can be critical, it can be positive. Some of you have left really nice messages in the past, which I do appreciate. And uh, just to kind of talk about myself for a minute, um, so if you would like to join, there is the Code Academy Soul chapter um, to which you can subscribe. However, if you are really into SQL, if that is something you would like to get into, I would recommend that you perhaps check Code Academy's Detroit chapter. The leader is Julia. Let me just pop her link in the description. Just a moment. So Julia is actually really, really good with um, SQL contents. And uh, I've had a lot of um, really nice meetups with her. So I've been to a lot of different meetups and her, hers are definitely some of the best on Core Academy, I would say. Okay, there we go. So that's the Detroit chapter if you want to subscribe to that. And just if you're interested in subscribing to my soul chapter as well just for further reference let's say okay and going back to the presentation just a sec all right okay so just to introduce myself briefly i am an english teacher here in south korea it's my sixth year at this point and i'm currently learning web development i'm also dabbling in sql and python a little bit so kind of trying to figure things out for myself as well. And right now, what I would like to do is I would like to use Menti for a little bit of interactivity rather than me just talking the entire time. I would like to hear from you as well, make this a bit of a two way street. And the way you can do this, you can either scan the QR code on your phone. I've just checked it. It does work. Or follow the link and I will pop that in the chat box as well if it's easier for you to follow um, than a QR code. Okay. Oh, somebody's saying for some reason you can't hear any suggestions. Um, I'm not sure, have you, have you tried maybe switching to Google Chrome? So for some reason, the propriety software that Core Academy uses is called Bevy and it works best on, um, on Google Chrome. Mm. Some browsers sometimes have difficulty, mm. something to do with the audio settings, something to do with permissions. Mm. Can you maybe try Google Chrome and see what happens? Okay. And let's just have a quick little moment to look at the presentation a bit, just a sec. From Menti. Let me just share the screen for that one, just a sec. Right. Here we go. Okay, let's have a little look. Okay, so we have a couple of people who've never used SQL before, okay? And then we have, okay, most of you apparently have some experience with it, okay? Um, okay, a lot of you also would say you're quite proficient, okay? Or we have a, oh, we have a couple of 
like build you this brilliant um just letting you know so this meetup really is more geared towards a sort of beginner intermediate in terms of sql um, and technical details so if you're looking for something really really technical really quite involved this might not be for you i think it's really fun but it's definitely more of a beginner sort of um, project okay and let's have a look i've got one more slide actually let's pop that on okay and i would also like to know what other languages are you currently learning and you can take all that apply it can be more than one python html okay oh wow uh -huh. wow a lot of python people here okay cool javascript yeah Okay, so it looks like it's mainly Python really for the middle bit of JavaScript. Okay. Just gonna give this a few more seconds and then we're going to go back to the presentation. Okay, and it looks like you've all stopped writing. Yeah, so that's all good. Let's just go back to the presentation for a sec. All right, and just to get into the commands here, so if you were to use the SQL, if you just want all tables, um, you can say select star from, for example, if you have a table called Codecademy, you can say select all from Codecademy. This is what the statement does basically. Um, you can also use um, a, um, um, to, to sort of name the columns. So for example, let's say you have, um, a table and you wanted to know um, which students have pro membership on Codecademy, you could say select this column from Codecademy where um, the other column is, for example, membership pro. Another command that you'll be using in the SQL murder mystery is the wildcard. So, for example, if you wanted to know um, which students are currently learning SQL, you could use this wildcard character and let's say for example you wouldn't be able to remember what sql is uh, like you could say sq and then the wildcard character and then what it does is it returns you all the courses that are like as you know that start with sq and then may end in something else uh, another command that you'll be using is um, order by and you can order by ascending or descending so ascending being numbers going up and descending being numbers going down. Um, generally, what you'll be using a lot um, are the and and the or sort of keywords. So for example, if you wanted to find students from Codecademy, for example, you wanted to find the students from Korea um, and China, it would give you both of these countries. If you wanted to have students that were um, um, either or, okay, it would give you um, either or, you know, one of those. Uh, if you wanted to join tables, so we'll be definitely joining some tables in the murder mystery as well. We can join um, saying select all from Code Academy, join this table on, um, uh, for example, select table one and join it on table two. And these are the columns that we want, for example, codecademy.name on LinkedIn learning name, as an example. Um, by the way, these tables are completely made up. They're not real. Uh, I'm just using them for illustrative purposes. Another concept that will come up in the murder mystery is the concept of primary key and foreign key. So when you have a primary key, it tells you about unique data in that column, uh, whereas the foreign key refers to the primary key of another table. And basically, you can use that foreign key as a link between the data of these two tables. Um, it is going to become a little bit clearer in a second when I show you the table schema. And then other things that you might be able to use uh, in the murder mystery, you may want to rename certain columns if you like. So you can say select all from Codecademy and maybe rename it as another table, sorry, another column name. If you use the distinct keyword, you can use it to sort of uh, 
filter unique items. You can use the limit keyword if you don't want all of the results, you just want some of the results. You can use group by, which is where you, um, you literally group results by certain um, categories, or if you want to order something, you can order them by certain um, column names. And now just to give you the premise of the SQL murder mystery. So this is what it is given at the beginning. So a crime has taken place and the detective needs some help. The detective gave you the crime scene report, but you somehow lost it. Oh dear. You vaguely remember that the crime was a murder that occurred sometime on the 15th of January 2018 and that it took place in SQL City. Apparently they couldn't come up with a more imaginative name. And um, the beginning, what it asks you to do is to start by retrieving the corresponding crime scene report from the police department's database. Just a few notes on this mystery. So generally the witnesses are reliable. So when you get information, you can accept that as true as given. The street names are spelled correctly. And also you don't need to fuff around with capitalizations. So it doesn't matter. Um, you don't have to put them in lowercase or in capitals. You just use the hints as is, and that's basically how you solve it. Before we look at the website, um, so I'm, I'm going to give you the links in a second in the chat as well, so no worries about that. Just to give you a little overview, so this is what the website looks like. It gives you um, some sample commands where it explains what the tables look like. And then here, further down at the bottom, that's the bit where you can put in your own commands and where you can retrieve information from their database. That's how you solve the mystery, basically. Um, and so one of the first commands that will be run, running in a minute is to find the tables in the database. They are called crime scene report, driver's license, person, Facebook event check-in, interview, uh, get fit now member, get fit now check-in, the income, so what that person earns, and the solution as well. And we'll be using the solution table to check whether our answer was correct or not. There's just a sample command. I will show that one in a minute. And then the last thing we'll be doing to set up is we will look at the table structure. And this is basically what data types um, they have in general. So they have integers and text. It's, it's nothing too fancy. I think a couple of numbers as well. Um, it is quite straightforward, quite beginner friendly. Okay, just to give you another idea of the table schema as well. So we have a picture, it looks a bit much at the beginning, but all you need to know basically when you see this yellow key, it means that is the primary key. So that is information that is unique to that table. When you see that little blue arrow here, it tells you that that is the, um, that is the foreign key that belongs to the item, the table with the primary key. So that's, that's how they're connected. So as an example, if you look here, person ID, it has a foreign key of license ID, right? And the license ID connects to driver's license ID. Okay, that's, that's how they're connected basically. And if you have a look at the crime scene reports and the income and the solution, they're all completely separate tables. Okay, how are we doing with the time? Okay, we're doing well on time. So now what I would like to do is I would like to actually get started and I'm going to stop recording in three, two, one.